I think you're going to see a lot more ties between Silicon Valley and the CE region. Um, and you're going to see a lot more huge global companies coming out of the region. I think with the with the the growth of and the emergence of UiPath as as this like decacorn, you know, my, my vision is, and I've been very very bullish on the CE tech scene for a long long time. But I, I think this, it's going to come into its own, and I think you're going to see a lot more ties between Silicon Valley and the CE region, um, and you're going to see a lot more huge global companies coming out of the region. The way I think about most relationships, whether it's sort of like a romantic relationship or whether it's a business relationship, ultimately they have to be partnerships, right? And partnerships of equals. And the way I think about, you know, this is the relationship I hope I have with my founders is that, you know, like it is a partnership, you know, I'm not there to serve them. They're not there to serve me. We're here to help work together, sort of build a huge, awesome company and business. And ultimately sort of like it requires sort of like a lot of transparency and a lot of honesty, you know, I don't want to just hear great news, right? I want to understand and hear when things are going badly so we can work together to try to fix it, or hopefully we can work together to try to fix it. And so I, I think of them as really partnerships and, you know, especially from the founder side of just keeping the investor in the loop when you're making very, very big decisions and, and hopefully, hopefully using your investor as a, as a guidance counselor, right? An, an advisor, trusted advisor. Yeah, so there's three things. I would say number one, like the biggest focus is actually just focus on building a good business and focusing on your customers. Um, I actually think that's probably the most important thing. I think the second thing is is really having a vision and mission for sort of what your company is trying to do. And number three, just like make sure you know your numbers and have a great story for you know a good narrative for what you're building and one that's easily understood. Like I said, making sure, sir, making sure that they have a very, very clear mission, making sure that the company's customer focused, making sure they don't run out of money and that they're hiring well. And, and if you can do these like three or four things, like that's probably better than 99% of most founders out there. I think that they're, you know, like this, this sounds very trite, but I think that they have a good and deep understanding of their customers and what problems they're solving. And I hate this business school term. I'm not, I didn't go to business school, but I hate this business school term of like customer obsession. I, I think the best startups are like really, really care a lot about their customers and really care a lot about solving their customers' problems, not necessarily just on the technology. <laughs>